Good morning, Philippines. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. December 14, 2021. I am Prince. And here is our round down for our local news today. Taal Volcano Eruption on Environment and Health Taal Volcano started to erupt and emits hot and thick ash for last January 12, 2020 and ended on January 22, 2020. Taal Volcano has started to be active again after years. T-Box stated that this active volcano has erupted more than 30 times in the past including the last major eruption. Happened in 1965 that killed hundreds of people. Also, the eruption in 1754 known as the biggest eruption in the history that lasted for seven months. It buried four towns in Batangas, province under ash volcanic rocks and water. Ashfall is as thick as 40 inches in some areas. 43 years, the previous eruption happened in 1977. That results in the suspension of classes and companies in Metro Manila and some parts of Central Luzon and Ilocos region. These happenings in the past did not only cause environment and infrastructure damages, but also took life of thousands of people and other living things over the years. Some animals the citizens in the area own able to survive as they were also dragged out from the situation by their owners and some were also rescued by rescuers. It is reported that 14 1,082 houses were damaged, 643 flights were cancelled, 24 cities experienced power interruptions, 12 palayan or rice fields were also damaged, and total of 736,802 people have been affected from the latest eruption of the Al Volcano. Please see two pairs of number and its TCF and LCM. And these eruptions also cause health concerns such as infectious diseases, respiratory illnesses, burns, injuries from falls and vehicle accidents related to the slippery, hazy conditions caused by ash. Volcanic eruption produce hazard dust effects to the environment, to people, animals, and plants, or crop damages, and the destruction of vegetation. To prevent this, if you are indoor, close all windows and doors, turn off all fans, and air conditioning. Be prepared to evacuate and do it immediately. If necessary, bring any pets and livestock into closed shelters for protection. Wear mask, glasses, or goggles, long sleeves, pants, and shoes. Follow evacuating protocol and always be aware to any announcement regarding with the eruption. Don't panic and stay where you and your family is safe. Again, this is Prince Russell M. Eusebio from IES News Molabe.